Fellow travelers, Sanhedrin has indeed sent you to us in our hour of need. We couldn't have stood against the Montari much longer, weak as we are with hunger and fatigue. By grace of the goddess or good fortune, I'm glad we came along when we did. Oh, but you are wounded. I would not have it said that one of Sanhedrin's circle did not have the strength to heal those who rescued her. Thank you, revered sister. We would be grateful. <gasps> What's the matter? Are you all right? I'm fine. I just did not expect... You've survived the pox. I can sense its shadow within you. Yes, but I was lucky. Your sisters healed me while it was still in its early stage. My eldest brother was not as fortunate. I am sorry. May your memory of him live on in Sinadrin's love. Why did the Montari attack you? The sisters received word of a feeble pox outbreak in Aspreza. At this point in our journey, we were surrounded by a band of Montari. They were desperate with hunger, poor creatures. To keep them at bay, we threw them all our food. They fell on it like crazed wolverines, fighting each other viciously for every scrap. A short while ago, the food ran out, and they turned their savage eyes back in our direction. If you hadn't appeared just when you did... Revered sister, when will we be free of this plague? I do not know, child. The pox erupted from nowhere, sweeping over the land like a prairie fire. Perhaps it will extinguish itself just as quickly. Has Chael been spared from the pox? Not entirely. I suspect smugglers or pirates evading the blockades were responsible for the outbreak in Forlea last season. It seems to have been contained now thanks to an effective border watch. But restraining the plague is like trying to capture Quicksilver. It slips through your fingers to spread its poison elsewhere. There is no pox west of the ridge? Oddly enough, no. When the Mayrod crossed the ridge to fight, we feared they would carry the pox with them. But my sisters have seen no sign of it there. Do you think finding food along the way will be a problem, revered sister? It may be. The Montari have scoured the land clean everywhere but to the north. In this weakened state, we cannot go more than a day without food. Yet we can't afford the time to travel to towns off the direct path. Wasting hours in search of food may well mean arriving in Aspreza only to shepherd souls rather than heal bodies. How much food do you think you'll need to make it to Espreza? If we hurry, we can reach Espreza in 10 to 12 days. With Sanhedrin's grace, we can make do with half rations. For the four of us, we'll need 24 rations altogether. We must be on our way, and quickly. Got a speed. And to you as well. Perhaps we will have the fortune to cross paths again on the road, or in Espreza. Thank you, child. We must be on our way, and quickly. Got a speed. And to you as well. Perhaps we will have the fortune to cross paths again on the road, or in Espreza. Here, sister. Take this food to speed you on your way. May Sinadrin caress you with her love. We will set out at once. Now that food is no longer a concern, I have faith that we will arrive in time. Please, in gratitude, take this sin water, though I pray that by her grace you will have no need of it. We must be on our way, and quickly. Got a speed. And to you as well. Perhaps we will have the fortune to cross paths again on the road, or in Espreza. <laughs> 